All right, here we are at the 70 Camaro. We've went over the whole thing, and we're getting ready to take off the hood, the fenders, um, reline some things up, and set it all up in, get it lined up, and get working on her. Get the little dents fixed out of her in the corners, and then there's a dent there, there's a dent over there, little things. And then uh, lining up these gaps and getting these gaps the right way, a couple back things, and uh, we'll show you the whole project as we do it. All right, here we got our 70 Camaro. Um, the gaps in the front end were just way, way too huge. Um, they're bottoming out right here. These pieces right here, it's all Dynacore aftermarket parts. Fresh, good metal, everything that way, but you gotta finagle everything. So what we're gonna do is we gotta take and go down this and, and push this back on both of them these are a double folded it'll move right on this side it'll move right on this side here we got to move it back that we can get this fender so this line can move right up against the door then we can adjust it and get it lined up we can always move it forward with a shim but we need to go back farther than it is um, he had shims in between it but what the problem is, it looked like it was needed a shim here, but it's hitting right in that corner. And it's hitting right across this bottom edge, and it's hitting on this edge here. So, there's our Camaro. We're going to work on the front end and get the gaps all right, and then we'll put the front end back on. And it just pops right off. We unbolted everything, undid the wheel wells, undid all the front bumper and supports, and... Uh, We'll go around and straighten up a couple things and get that lined up and X'd out the way it needs to be. And I'll keep showing everybody what, uh, what we're doing as we're doing it. All right, we're working these front flanges on the back of the fenders. Um, this aftermarket fender, we've, we've tucked this corner in and tightened it up. Now, this side has a nice inner structure flange and you can't move it. See, I'm trying to move it with my thumb. It barely moves. I mean, it is good and strong. We plenish the hammer, tighten it up around the corner, and moved it about a quarter inch. This side, now, they cut the metal differently here, and they have a hole through here, I can, and it's a weak spot. Um, this, see how I can move this? I mean, it just moves. It's uh, probably going back and forth, if you look at it, about three-eighths to a half inch. Um, this inner structure in here, they didn't tack it inside. Um, they got two tacks here. Now the other side, they welded all in the back side and it's nice and strong. So we're gonna add a, we crimped this side now, we gotta straighten it. We're gonna add some welds into this corner and into the back and tighten this up and make it strong so it's not moving back and forth. Um, we need it to go back um, and I'll show you more as we do it. We're gonna be reaming out these holes got to go back see that's he's out to the edge we got to go back into this corner and we have to do the same thing here so we can move this whole front end back a little bit uh, these square holes are pretty good I got enough on the bottom and uh, I'll show you as we do it all right we just put the front end back on after readjusting the two parts on the back of the fenders um, we've got our gap back nice that we're going to be able to work with the gap. We could close it in. It comes right back into place. That's a nice gap we're going to be able to work with. And the same with the other side. We wanted to bring it back enough that we could end up touching. So now... Sorry, I need a little headgear. Uh, now you can move this back and it, it really sets the gap where we need to have it. We'll be able to work with it. I'll be able to adjust the top of that fender and the lip. Um, simple minor adjustments. It was just a bunch of disassembly. It'll be a bunch of reassembly. And we'll get that taken care of. And then we'll work on some of these other things on the front end, some of the waves and stuff into the, it's just dealing with aftermarket parts. Uh, like I said, you, you end up with good metal, but you have to do some tweaking and adjustment. Uh, you have the same thing with this right here. We'll have to tweak and adjust and get this lined up a little better. How these set together right there and turn that in a little bit. Just a. Uh, 
I'll let you let you see it as we go. All right, if you look at it now, we've moved, uh, let me get down here. We moved this plant in on the fender, a little dolly into the fender. We've got it back so the seam to the rocker's better. We got the seam between this and this is better. And we're gonna end up with a nice gap. We're gonna have to do some filing and shaping because it is a little wavy. Um, and we'll be able to correct it and move on. If you bring the camera in and come up here to the top, You'll see where the, the difference in it is in here. It's tight here, wide here, wide here. We'll have to correct, do a little welding, a little hammer and dolly in, and get it back in where it needs to be. And we got to get this line to shape and go back right there. So uh, that's a good rough end, really. It's yeah. a real nice rough end. Um, All right, we got the front end on. We've gotten the gap a lot nicer. We're working with the gap. Now we're gonna show you some of the things you have to do with the inner fenders on any aftermarket parts. Now see, we got our gap looking good. We're opening the door. And now you're hitting the inner structure all the way on the very inside. So you can see it right there. That inside piece will have to be flanged and you gotta fold it over a little more. Otherwise, when you get it all done, see it's touching see, right in that. I mean, it's tight. Here, yeah. But point that driver. right there. See, that's it's touching right on oh, that yeah. corner oh, first. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep. <laughs> Let me see if I can get you back again. I can't get it to. Sh I don't know where you're going. I was just trying to get the light in there, but it won't go in there. Hey. Well, go. anyway. There you go. Get an idea that uh. We're going to work on the gaps and getting the fender back in every which way that we need. Then we're going to pull the front end back off again and we will fold that inner flange over and dolly that and get it sitting real nice. So we'll end up with a nice, nice gap line that'll be right at 3 16 and uh, I'll show you again later. That's where we're at. All right, here we are back on the Camaro again. Um, just wanted to bring you in on what we're doing. Uh, now you know we've cut back some things and straightened some things out to be able to move the front fenders backwards who they need to be. Uh, the gap is really big. Now since we've moved things back and everything, dealing with the aftermarket parts, you'll see that this inside flange is kind of flat. Uh, it's even pitched towards the outside. It's got ruffles sticking out and all through here. Um, these fenders will pitch out the bottom of the door but the inside and the top dives in. Well, when it dives in, it doesn't clear right here because it's just an aftermarket thing that you gotta trim. So if you come over here to the other fender, I've taken the, the inside lip and rolled it inward. And as you see, the whole inside lip has been rounded inward now. This edge that was sticking flat has been folded down um, and this area I've tacked and welded up where the metal was cracked that one has a crack in it the same way so it won't bleed uh, just cleaned it up you don't have to do the bottom of the door that much now the bottom edge was touching I flanged that in but you don't have to do this area as much it's kind of folded um, it pulls away when a door is opening the top pitches in so this was the same way it was touching right through here and all through here on the inside when you get the correct gap. So, come back to this other one. See what I was talking about, like on, a, on the outside edge. Let me see if I can throw a little extra light on here. Uh, see how they make it. They, uh, how they fold it and all they leave a crack right here this ends up coming all the way to this edge eventually if you don't tack it right in here and seal the crack so it stops running and this is needs to be folded in all this top edge will be folded inward and we'll we'll do it all the way down here and then feathers it's fine down the bottom um, it's really this top edge here all the way up into here and here um, the other side we got to trim a little bit there to be able to move the prop but it gives you a quick idea while well, we got the front end off again. 
um, I'm going to correct the insides on both of those sides and the other one and we'll put the front end back on again and I'll, I'll show it to you as we uh, as we'll put it all back together. All right, back on the passenger side of the fender uh, to give you a quick run in where I, I welded up, fixed up the split that was in it and beveled this whole area inward. And what's that gonna do is allow me for to have a tighter gap up against the fender to the door and it'll allow the door to go into this slot. You know, um, didn't have any clearance. So, all that's been taken care of and we're gonna put the front end all back together. Yeah, I tapered this up here. I trimmed off that edge. I got a little trimming to do on that one because uh, these were bottomed out against the mounts and everything there. Quick rundown. Yeah, see this this lip right here is bottomed out against the mount. In case I got to go up or down with it, I'm gonna just cut off that little eighth inch real quick. Uh, just a little modifying here and there. That's just something you have to do. All right, we've went through welding up a couple spots on the door and getting the door edge dollied and trying to get it to fit better. Um, it had some angles and some different pitches to it. So I've went up and down it with a nice metal rasp and shaped it all to fit. Now we're sitting right where we need to be. We're gonna file this down. We've got, see the, sorry, this was went out to a point and had a dip here. And this had a, a blemish right in here and a row in here. And up here was pretty decent on this side. Um, this side matched up to the file that we matched up here. We took a file off of here and went around. And these are adjustable files, so you get a real nice even look to it. Now, if you come around to the other side that we haven't started on, here, follow me over here, Mike. And put the light on it. All right, I started filing down on the bottom and got the point and the roll off of the, the corner. Now, if you take the file and stand it up, and look at it across here we end up with that much of a gap difference so you're going to file it and straighten it up and we're going to file off the corner so you can see the it's probably an eighth inch down in there if you can see it it shows you that gap difference of taking a rasp and the corner goes to a point it needs to be filed off if i have to tack weld it back i will but and this corner here went to a point and they both just need to be shaped up and tacked and everything so it'll be lined up and then we'll put the front end back on we went through and uh tack welded this side into place went around uh i don't know if you'll be able to see it i, I put tacks all the way around this side um nice even if you do it quickly just nice one two real quick zap you don't end up with uh any kind of warpage um, the top got welded solid in a bunch of places and it ended up warping so we're going to be taking care of that um, the person that put on the doors didn't understand put a put a nice big weld line down them and didn't realize how much heat was involved and uh, so we're going to end up having to deal with that luckily uh, nothing was done to the bottom on this side or this end it wasn't welded yet and uh, I was able to take care of the welding and uh, like I said, if you run down it, um, got it nice and straight, don't have any warpage to this, so this door will go pretty quick. All right, let's uh, let's follow that out and see where we're going to be. All right, we put the front end back on. Been working and lining up the, the fender to the door. Um, I've had to do some more hammering and dollying down through the whole side. A little bit more welding inside and tighten some things up but right now we are really close at having a 3 16 gap line all the way down it um getting out of gauge all right what i have here is a 3 16 gauge and that's going to tell you your width um right now i'm touching right here through this section everything we get a real nice and snug we get snug right in there we're a little tiny loose right here which we'll address and fix and 
And then we go right here and we're right at 3 16 and we get a little snug right down here at the bottom and we'll have to hammer and dolly and do a little bit more down there but uh we're right at that right at nice tight 3 16 there so gives you an idea where we're at um getting her all in position we'll work on the other side but she's coming along all right here's our 70 camaro again um we put the front end back on i've lined up a few more things i've, I've went through readjusting the doors moving forward uh both doors needed adjustment uh, we got a nice even line out of the back i've started marking things i've dollied and filed i've, I've got a real nice line here now um this is in its rough end but i've got a real nice 3 16 gap i got some fine things to do in here in a file you can see where I've ran a file across that's showing me my lows. I'll, I'll be working all those back up. Um, but that's the gap on the doors right now with the, the fenders and everything. Um, and the driver's side has turned out just gorgeous. I, I've got a real nice 3 16 gap down it. Um, so. That's where I'm at with that. And I've gotten the back of the door moved forward and adjusted. Uh, I got a real nice line across the bottom now. Uh, sorry, to, it might be a little dark in here. I've already started shutting off things. My son's uh, shutting off lights. It's, it's like six, seven o'clock. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Um, pulled a couple evenings on this thing and uh, stayed out here till seven eight o'clock on her and i've gotten a lot of the lines and it's just a you know been a lot of work taking off all the big parts and putting them all back together and relining things up um what we've had to do i've ran through and shown you a lot of the way step by step of what we've done uh, a lot of reaming out angles cutting corners folding shaping uh, that is a normal thing with aftermarket parts when I mean, you're doing a car to this degree uh, everything gets changed but uh, it's coming right along um, another few days it'll all be metal work will all be done and we'll be ready to start moving on to putty uh, I got a few things to do in the very back around the trunk I'll show you when I start doing that uh, next step is uh, uh, Mike and Charlie will be in here tomorrow with me and we're gonna take and uh, get the hinges out of the way and put the hood back on and get all the measurements on that and uh, maybe be taking a couple of the things apart on the front end and re-straightening some of the metal uh trying to get some measurements if we're going to get this thing to line up um the hood has some damage so we we might end up being able to you know get another hood otherwise we're going to be uh pulling and straightening and try to stretch some of the things on that if we can um it, it just depends how damaged it is when we put it back on in the beginning it, it wasn't lining up at all but uh, the whole front end was out of alignment. So might end up a little better when we got everything uh, squared back up. But uh, that's our Camaro project right now. And All right, we got, uh, we got the front end back on. We're going through the gaps. Uh, the other side's real nice. We got the gap worked out real good. Uh, we've had to work with this door and take it and hammer and dolly it a good bit had some welds that had to be addressed on the inside but uh the roll of it was rolled over a little far and what we're doing and it got a problem with the door a little bit and the fender and if you're just even using a paint stick i got a straight edge here too a metal one but you can see in the paint stick we're between here and here this drops in an eighth inch between here and here it drops in at least a sixteenth same with down here in two places and what I've done is take a metal file, a rasp, and walk across it, and it shows you where the distance is, where your problem is addressing at. And you can use the straight edge of the file to lay up on the side. You can mark it with a magic marker to show you what's going on, and then you can metal file it. And you just lightly run it over to give you a straight edge to see what's going on. I've, I've been straightening it. I got it real close. It, it was a lot worse. Um, and uh, I'll show you it as we get it close and I get it really close and then I'll be able to mud. I just don't want to have an eighth inch falling into the door. I need it to fit real nice and be able to roll into the door. So you can't have that much mud on that edge. 
you know the back or the side or something the bottom that's not a big deal uh, but a tight edge and a gap in a door you want it to be skinny so I'm in I'm gonna get a couple things done and pull this front end off again and let me get a couple welding done in there and then we'll be ready to put it on and line up the hood and stay I gotta we gotta go forward and I gotta take a metal file down this and straighten this edge on this because it's going up here and then it's curving in real bad here and it's coming out and you can see I got a real big gap up here real tight through here and then the bottom is not bad you got a little bit down the bottom we got a metal file right here under the door and a metal file under the door right in this area and the same with the fetter once I do that it'll be real nice and straight I got to tack it or anything in between there it'll be fine All right, front end's back off again, sitting on the ground. Um, I got to do some dollying on the inside right there on that fender. The only way to do it right is having it back off. Um, so, and then I got to do some dollying on this side right here. Um, what it is, it just, just needs to be dollied and rolled better. Uh, the same with the fender. Once you get that done, you know, I'll put it back on. And uh, then it should stay on for a while while I get ready to do mud work and other stages. Uh, we'll be done with the gap lines after this stage, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll be going to the hood and a couple other things. Alright, we got it back off. I've had to do some welding in a couple places. And yeah, that I re-welded back up. But this was moving everywhere here. And uh, if you see it, you can move it real easy with your thumb. So the adjustment moves back and forth. It's not attached to the skin, but under here. Same thing I had to do with these on both sides, just not welded together right. So, I mean, we're just gonna stick a few tacks in it. And attach these back in here. And get us some, uh, it's a little strength. See, it's, it, I'm moving it now with my thumb, and you can't move it now. It's just a couple little tacks, just tighten it back up. Do a couple on this corner. Just uh, little Chinese people didn't put it together right. A lot of people don't understand it, it, that if the, you don't do aftermarket parts you don't realize that they have flaws in them like this you got to look for and when you're trying to adjust it and put it in place and this is flexing and moving this is flexing and moving the pitch of the fender isn't proper you'll run into a lot of things and it'll look all right from a distance but it won't be lined up so we got this pitching right we got both sides this is all welded back together. This is welded back together. That's welded back together. The thing was flexing and moving everywhere. So, and then it wasn't bent and put together properly. Um, all right, we got the gaps looking good. We put the front end back on. Uh, the fenders and everything we put back on. Now we threw the hood on. Um, you know, you can go through and see the gaps on both sides. They're real nice. Um, all of it's even that way. We've worked, we've cross measured out the front end. We're exactly right in our cross measurements in three different angles from cross measure. Um, now we've put the, the hood on. Um, Mike's on the other side. Get over there a minute. Give it an idea. Um, well, that ain't it. We're, run your hand down there of where the dent is. Um, there's a dent on both sides. And my side's the same way. I, I ran it and felt it out, you know, with my eyes closed and all. We both end up in the same way. There's some kind of differing in both front fenders, right here and right there. Um, you can see how it's raised up. We're ending up with a problem right here in the, in the hood and some of the gaps to line up with the hood. Now, we don't have hinges on the hood. We don't have anything on it at the moment. We're, we're just trying to gauge it. Um, 
see if it matches the fender. Let's see if it matches to a degree. The hood's had some damage. And there's a pretty good dent in it here and dent back here. It was either dropped on the side or damaged. But besides just that is that we got some bows to the fender. Got something going on the right here on both sides. sides. Identical spot on both sides. You know, we haven't worked our way to the front. And, um, it's got a real nice shape there. This feels good on top of that. But this yeah, but nice then front. it's raising up here in the front corner, raising up there in that front corner. So anyway, we're going to go over the whole thing, see what we can figure out and balance it all out. But, all right, we've been doing some measuring and looking at the front end and where the adjustments are down on the front and where there's an exact bow spot in both of these fenders in the same exact line. Um, right here in this fender, in this section right here, and the same with the other, how you see it even in the front and raised up right here, and then it's even back here. And that's the same on both sides. And what we're worried it got cranked down in the front and might have bent the fenders right on both sides putting the front end together because see you can you can tweak and adjust this front end you're gonna we're gonna take all this front end back apart and reline it up so it, it gets we're measuring out things with the fenders and to the hood lift your side right there we're, we're trying to get this adjust out to these lines on the fender in the yeah. hood if yeah. you get one side you yeah. can't get the other so you're good here and then you're not you're, and then you yeah, your if, you're, if you're good here yeah let me come around and uh see if you're good right here to the hood then this outside part of the fender to the hood is, is sticking up way bad um so that's our idea that this this hood must have been dropped he, he's had some problems when he got it in you know, um, with, with this fender pushed down here and, and bent right here, that might be why this is sticking up. Yeah, because this this is going to come up now when this comes down. It's going to straighten out, but not that much. There, I mean, you can look at both sides, and we'll do some measuring yeah, and and check it. But uh, something's either up with the the hood or the fender. But we're, we've got good lines at the back. We're measuring out real good and everywhere else. Um, hopefully it's all in the hood being damaged. If it got dropped and, you know, it's bent on this corner, it's bent on that back corner, we don't, we don't know the logistics of it completely, so. Alright, we're going to get her taken care of. Let's get the hood back off and, uh, get some things measured out and see where we're going to be.